guys welcome back to our vlog today is october the 13th and it is thursday um we're home now from school so i decided to make uh, this vlog and it's going to be a new recipe that i'm trying um, as many of you know that i really love um trying new soups so that's what this vlog is going to be about today we are making lasagna soup um i saw it on what did i see i think pinterest and i thought you know what we're gonna give it a try and that's what we're cooking for tonight and it should take only 30 minutes it's 4 32 abby has a game tonight at 6 so we're gonna rush through this and i'm gonna share with you guys the ingredients that i got from walmart it was a last minute decision so i'm gonna show you what i got what i'm gonna use and um and hopefully we can get this done quickly um if you're new to our channel i would like to welcome you my name is nancy i am a mother of two a boy and a girl asher who is 14 and abby is 10 and i've been married to my husband brandon for 15 years he is a pastor and we are in the ministry together so um if you like the content that you're seeing don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video <laughs> and like this video all right here we go all right guys so i this these are the ingredients that we're gonna use for this soup i got italian sausage mild and i got ground beef marinara sauce garlic beef broth lasagna heavy whipping cream and i got the italian style the parmesan and the mozzarella cheese and i'm also gonna need onion i forgot the can of tomatoes so i'm gonna have to um, cut some tomatoes to add it to it more flavor and I also got these um, garlic knobs to go with them, with the soup. Here it is. And this is what we're gonna be doing. So let's get started now. my cooking oil now I'm adding it to my pot and that's just gonna we're gonna add the onions and the onions have to cook for about three to four minutes I have onions and garlic okay. onion we're browning the onion and the garlic I'm excited about this soup I just love soup too in the fall. I like to try new things. Um, and I think this is gonna be a delicious, delicious, delicious soup. Like I said, I forgot the tomatoes, but I don't even know. I think I think it's gonna be okay without the tomatoes. But it does call for a can of, of tomatoes. Right. Has about one more minute, and then I'm gonna add the ground beef and the Italian adding the Italian sausage now and the ground beef okay. and now we're gonna leave it for eight minutes and we have to make sure we're grounding the meat as it cooks so we're gonna let it cook for about eight minutes 
uh, staring it occasionally and like I said we have to make sure we ground it really good so I'm using this all right the recipe doesn't call for this but I am gonna add some onion powder a little bit of onion powder just because I love the taste of onion powder and garlic powder so I'm gonna add this just a little bit it does call for salt so I'm gonna add I think it calls for let's see let me see the amount uh, it doesn't specify it just says yeah salt and we're gonna get the pepper right pepper black pepper it says that we need to drain uh, the oil the grease I'm sorry but I got lean meat so I don't think there's need for me to drain it even if the sausage is um, a little bit greasy um, I don't think it needs to it needs to drain all right it's almost all completely brown and then we're gonna add the beef broth and the marinara sauce and I'm thinking that I am gonna cut some tomatoes I'm gonna slice some tomatoes and I'm gonna add it to it just so we can get some type of tomato taste in this but guys it's already smelling so good so so good well don't have tomatoes just check I thought I had some but I, I don't so it's okay we're just gonna go without the tomatoes um, so hopefully it will be fine all right now that my um, meat is completely browned I'm adding um, beef broth I got this from great value so I'm gonna add it now And I, if I need more, I can always add water to it, which I don't think I will. Okay. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to add marinara sauce. Okay. Now I'm going to add the marinara sauce. Give me a minute. All right, jar number two. Number two. Second jar of marinara sauce. Okay, so now, goodness. Okay, now the fun part comes. I'm going to add um, the pasta. I'm gonna cut this, I believe, in three pieces. One. Two, three. Mm. Threes and fours. Fours. And you can cut it. Two, three sessions. One, two. Four. One, two, four. I think I am putting the entire, I think I'm gonna put the entire box. I did end up using the entire box of um, lasagna. So now I'm gonna leave it on the stove for eight minutes until the pasta cooks al dente, I think that's how you say it. And then um, I'm gonna add the heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna set my timer for eight minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, we're gonna preheat the oven for 225. And this is to bake our garlic knobs. And so, 
I'm gonna go ahead and work on this parsley while the soup is cooking. I got the oven going um, for 425, and then we will probably um, have the soup ready soon. I have parsley. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I've ever had fresh parsley. And if I have, I don't remember, maybe I have, because my brother cooks um, this Argentinian sauce, it's called chimichurri, and I think he uses that. Hmm. Isaac, if you're watching this video, let me know. But I have never tried it, I don't think, like, freshly. And I think the recipe was calling to add parsley and um, an Italian dry, you know, the dry flakes, so I think I'm gonna do that in just a little bit, but this is just to garnish the, the plate, and I don't think you need a lot of um, parsley to, gar to garnish, so I'm gonna put this in a small container, and then um, I will be adding the parsley and the Italian um, flakes in just a little bit. Still waiting on the lasagna soup to be ready, but this man right here makes the best tea ever. And I'm not a tea person, so he's making tea right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I didn't want any lemonade or soda, so he's making tea. I'm craving it tonight. But that soup, guys, I'm telling you, it is so good. Last, the heavy whipping cream. Of it. Okay, here comes the test. It is so hot. Yeah, it's probably, <laughs> it's very temperature hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Is it good? Man, that sounds stinging. You like it? Cheese and meat. Can I smell it? <clears throat> it's flavored. It's it outstanding. You know how to make it again. I do. I could eat this all winter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dip, dip that in the soup. Mm. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> I made my day. 
Go get your daddy a napkin, Abby. Can <clears throat> I have a paper towel? <laughs> a paper yeah. towel. He's shaking his head. He means it's hot. Mm, I've been getting hungry. Maybe you can put some crushed papers in it and it probably tastes even better. Mm, mm. How, how are the noodles? Did you try the noodles? Um. The cheese is so stringy. Alright girlfriend, you ready for your soccer game tonight? Try with the noodle. We called it a noodle. It is a noodle. Hot. Hey guys, I just got home from Abby's soccer game. I wasn't able to finish. Actually, I didn't get to eat um, before I left because her game started at six and we barely made it. We made it around the game she was at six she got we got that at 550 so that was a little bit late anyways Brandon and Abby said that it was the best soup that they ever tried you have to try this food you you guys need to try it because it's perfect for fall perfect for winter it is so easy and it takes about 30 to 35 minutes to make this meal and it is really cheap I think I only spent 36 dollars I mean that is really good and of course I bought everything almost of a great value brand um, also it goes with um, ricotta cheese but we don't like it the only one that likes it is Asher and I was not I was like I'm not gonna spend money on ricotta cheese because they only have either the big container or this or the medium one and it was gonna go um, to waste so I just decided to make it like that the tomatoes I don't think it needed the tomatoes I think it's with the marinara sauce that it was that I bought from Great Value, it had tomato chunks. So that is actually uh, it worked perfectly for the soup. Um, and of course, we ate it with some um, garlic knobs, and they are delicious. These are the best garlic knobs I've had, um, and they're from Great Value. So um, I hope you guys can. Um, make it if not this weekend maybe when it gets a little bit uh, cool, uh, chilly chilly I'm gonna try to put the recipe on the description box um, I will add also the ingredients um, with that as well so if you guys um, make this soup and I got this recipe it's not from me I got it from Pinterest but if you make the soup just let me know comment below give it a try I promise you you won't regret it um, I'm gonna go ahead and just end this video here tonight. Please make sure that you click on the subscribe button, that you like this video and give it a thumbs up and that you would turn your notifications on. I hope you guys have a great evening and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.